Hi, this is Tom with ETC Tech Services. Today, we're going to be taking a look at configuring our Mosaic controller. So taking a look at this controller, we know we have an MTPC and it's running version 2.6. But if we take a look at the controller, all of the information is listed in a red text. And the red text is indicating that it's got an invalid firmware. So we already know our controller is running version 2.6. But if we come over to our designer version found under project in the about screen, we can see the version of designer is 2.7.4. Now, in order for designer to be able to talk to the controller, both the designer and the controller need to be running the same version of software. So to fix that, we need to go back over to our network tab, select the controller and choose reload firmware. Now, before we reload any firmware, we need to make sure we have any backups of our files. So we've made the necessary backups. We're gonna select the controller, noting it's highlighted in blue, and we're going to choose the reload firmware option. We'll get a prompt here confirming that this is what we want to do. And we'll go ahead and choose start to reload firmware. Once the firmware process is complete, the controller will drop offline and we'll install the new firmware and then reboot. So now our controller has rebooted, and if we take a look here under firmware, we notice it's running 2.7.4. Now that's the correct version of firmware. And if we take a look at the overall controller listing, it's listed in the standard black text, indicating that Mosaic Designer can communicate with this controller. Now, if we needed to associate the controller with the project, we would come over to our serial number screen, make the appropriate selection, and then upload our file to the controller. Controllers can also appear in a light gray in the network tab. Now the light gray is indicating that the controller's IP is different to that of designer. So if we take a look at this IP address, it's 10.25, and we know that the IP address of Mosaic Designer right now is 10.101. Now in order for the controller and the designer software to talk to one another, they've got to be in the same IP scheme. So in order to rectify that, we can right click on the controller, we can choose configure, or we can select the controller and choose configure in the top toolbar. So designer is prompting us that there's an IP issue. And if we were using DHCP, we could go ahead and just click this button and choose apply. However, we're actually gonna assign a static IP. So we're gonna say we're in a 10.101.50.75. IP scheme. Our subnet mask is actually correct, and we're going to assign a 10.101.1.1 default gateway. So now we're going to come over here and choose apply, and the settings are going to apply to the controller. Now, while network settings are applying to controllers, they may become unresponsive and you may lose output from the controller. So make sure before applying any network settings that you can turn lights off. We're going to go ahead and choose close. And now if we notice our IP address is listed in black text, along with all of the other information about the controller. And again, this is indicating that designer and the controller can communicate with one another. Now that our controller is associated with our project, we can take a look at the additional configuration options available. And these can be accessed by either choosing configure in the top toolbar or right clicking and choosing configure. We've already talked about IP address, subnet mask, and default gateway. If we wanted to configure a DNS server, that IP address can be input into one of these two fields. If we're working with a web server, those features can be enabled or disabled by clicking the appropriate box, and the port numbers can be input into one of these two fields. If we wanted to prevent unauthorized access of our controller, we can do that by choosing the enable security box. And doing this will allow us to set a password on the controller. Password protected controllers don't allow users to upload, download, or access the web UI of a controller unless they have the password. Keep in mind, the passwords are irrecoverable. If you forget a password, a controller cannot be accessed via a backdoor method. Setting the date and time on a controller can be done one of two ways. We can manually configure the date or time by entering the information into this field and choosing the set function, or we can choose the sync to designer function. 
Sync to Designer will sync the controller's clock to your computer clock. If the network we're working on features an SNTP service, the SNTP server's IP address can be input into this field. We can also configure the refresh interval. So this can be changed from automatic to one minute, to five minute, to 15 minute, one hour, or one day intervals. The log level of the controller can also be configured in this window. By default, all controllers are set to a normal log level. We can change this to a critical or a debug level. Debug level is only really useful if we're doing advanced level troubleshooting. For example, working with Lua scripts and capturing variables or troubleshooting UDP messages. Let's go ahead and set this back to normal. If we're working with a syslog service such as Conductor, its IP address can be input into this field. If we want to allow the controller to reboot itself in the event of a software crash or the result of electromagnetic interference, we can enable a feature called Watchdog. And Watchdog will reboot the controller if it detects an issue. And this can prevent the controller from becoming unresponsive. It's recommended that you keep this feature enabled. The data storage option allows us to format the controller's memory. Keep in mind that formatting the controller's memory removes all information from the controller. Once a controller's memory is formatted, nothing can be recovered. So now that we've made our changes, we can go ahead and choose the apply function. And these will commit the settings to the controller.